What's up everybody, it's the white boy from the From the Art Nation, back at it again with another Enhanced Questions with Dr. Tony Hughes with today's question, does injectable Osterine, which is Ostalone, give more or less suppression than oral MK2866 at a dosage of 20 milligrams? Hey white boy, so does Osterine oral give more or less suppression than the Ostalone injectable version of the SARM? So the theory is with the SARMs and what we are seeing on blood work so far is that the injectable version has less testosterone suppression than the oral version. And this is because the SARMs, although not liver toxic, they do get processed through the liver and they get processed twice when they're taken orally versus once when they're taken through injection. And as anything anabolic gets processed through the liver, it alters the hormones of the body because uh, a lot of the biomedical functions revolving the endocrine system begin in the liver. So if we skip that first bypass by injecting something, then we're going to cause less impact on our natural hormone balance because it's not just suppression of testosterone. There's many other different hormone precursors and hormones in the body that get impacted and affected every time we take anything anabolic through oral pass that goes through the, through the liver. Um, how much? suppressive probably half so if you took 20 milligrams okay this is actually a good example so 20 milligrams of osterine to me is not very suppressive like I could run 20 milligrams all year and, and not worry about my testosterone levels at all and I get a decent benefit but if I go down to 10 milligrams then I uh, am not able to hold on to my muscle mass it's not enough and it's not suppressive I go up to 30 milligrams now we're starting to get suppressive of my natural testosterone levels but then I can actually hold a lot more muscle on it. So with the injectable, that's oral version. So with the injectable version, the theory is that instead of having to take 30 milligrams to maintain a superhuman amount of muscle mass and risk suppression through the oral route, if it's injected, I could inject 30 milligrams and, and then it would be like taking, you know, 50 milligrams oral or something like that. Uh, and so I could go higher in the dosage without as much suppression or I could even go lower in the dosage for the same benefit with less suppression, obviously much, much less suppression because we're not only taking it through injectable route, but we can also use less milligrams total because uh, it's so much more absorbable and there's so much, uh, it, there's half as much passing through the liver. Awesome, thanks a lot Tony for answering these questions again. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications. Check out my Instagram, drop a follow there as well. Join the From the Art Nation, which is at From the Art Nation. Get featured, tag us, whatever. Got coaching programs available. I got discount codes on my sources, all on my Instagram link and biography. Go out to Anabolic TV by Enhanced Athletes. Subscribe there as well. And that was it guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Like I said, it's the Wiper From the Yard and I'm out.